this video, I'm going to show you one of the simplest and most effective little blitzes in Madden 24. This has the potential to be able to come through the A-gap. This has the potential to be able to really get you some nice pressure out of a five-man pressure concept. It is out of the dime normal. We're in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. If you want to get my entire dime normal defensive ebook, that is going to be available by becoming a member of our school.com community uh, over at school.com slash Cody Ballard. That is only $10 to sign up for. And the cool part about it is it's going to get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, not only for Madden, but also for college football. So for just $10, you're going to be able to get access to all of that material. We've already got over 17 different offensive and defensive ebooks on the platform. It's also a great place just to have a community of members that are going to come around you and help you become a better Madden or college football player. So if you want to sign up for that community, that link is going to be down in the description below. So Dime Normal, a lot of people think this blitz was patched. A lot of people think this blitz is less effective, but it's actually super good. I'm going to show you uh, how to make this a really, really good defense for you. First and foremost, uh, for this specific defense, we are going to leave our auto flip defensive play call on on. Our auto alignment is going to be on default. Our option defense is going to be on conservative. And then what I like to do with dime is we're actually going to put everything on default except our zone coverage. We're going to turn match on when we're in dime normal. It's going to make this cover three play a lot more smarter. And you're going to get a lot more reroutes because you're not on baseline. You're on default align. Now, the play that you want to utilize is Dime Blitz 3. This is the, the main play that you want to be basing out of for this defense. It has It is fully equipped with everything you need to stop pretty much any offense. So, as you can see here, what this Dime uh, Blitz 3 is going to do is it's going to bring this corner inside a, just a step, and this is going to make this defense incredibly effective. All we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our defense and we're going to crash our defensive line away from this slot blitzer here. So we're going to crash to the right. And then with our user, what I like to do is you can either stand, you can kind of do one of two things. You can stand over here. What I find if I stand over here is I can sometimes get some B gap pressure with this blitz. You can certainly do that. But another thing that you can do that's super effective is go ahead and stand on this side. This is going to make it so it's super hard to run on you. And it's also oftentimes, as you can see here, it's still going to make the blitz like you're still going to get the pressure that you want to get. Another little underrated tip for the rollout people is you can QB contain this and the blitz for the most part is going to work pretty much the same. So as you see here, you still get that super fast edge rush from that contain even a little bit better in some cases. But in general, the other thing that I wanted to mention about this blitz is let's say they start to block a running back. So if they start to block a running back, what you can do is you can blitz this slot corner on the right side of the screen. And oftentimes what will happen is he'll actually come in off of the edge or even sometimes through the B gap. So the beauty of this is this is a six man little blitzing strategy in which we're able to, you know, kind of get pressure from multiple different angles against the opponent. So you see here again, get that slot corner. That time I got the B gap. You see how effective this can be. Now, some of the best coverages behind this five man pressure uh, would be to take this safety on the left side, put him in a hook curl, shade your coverage underneath. This is a really good defense for a bunch because it's going to take away a lot of the quick throw. And with the match coverage turned on, this is going to make some, you're going to get some really nice reroutes out of your defense, which is super effective. Another defense or another way that you can kind of play some coverage behind this is go ahead and crash your defensive line down. You're going to blitz your user. Same same kind of strategy here on the left side by putting this guy on a hook curl, shading underneath. But now we can get a little bit more fat, flat protection. The way we're going to get that flat protection is by taking that slot corner, throwing him into a hard flat. And then if you wanted to, you could even drop a vert hook and roll the coverage around just like this. This is also super effective, and you can get a lot of stops this way just because they're going to think you're blitzing, but now you're going to put a coverage defense behind it that is going to be super effective. Now, I did want to mention something that I do think is a little bit important to kind of mention here, and that is what do you do if they when they start to activate the auto-flipping aspect of the defense? So let's say that our opponent comes out in a gun bunch, but that bunch is now gonna be flipped, so it's on the opposite side. Remember, your auto flip here is turned on. 
and your auto and your zone coverage is on match. So what you're going to get is it's just going to flip for you. So as you see, the defensive line kind of flips to a different way. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to crash the line to the right. We're going to stand over here. And as you'll see here, we get a nice A-gap rush right through the A-gap. Super effective little blitzing concept. Now let's say you have your defense set up, right? But then you're playing somebody and they decide to flip the formation on you. As you can see here, you can have you have a couple choices. You could leave the, the defense like this and it will still oftentimes come up the B gap as you see. But what you can do, and I do think is the best method for this, is if they flip, you flip. So they flip, I'm gonna flip, pinch my defense, crash my line to the right, and now we're kind of back into that same basic strategy. Um, so I think that's a super little helpful tip about the defense. It's very good with flipping, and it can do really good against a variety of looks. Another look that I did want to go over just briefly with you is the trips tight end offense. So how do we adjust to a trips tight end look out of this? We come out in dime blitz three, and as you can see, we're pretty much good, but the only problem is, as you see here, the blitz angle is across. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna man align and pinch our defense, and now as you see, this blitzer is gonna be in perfect position to be able to blitz, and we're gonna get this nice little cross field uh, outside third adjustment. So from a user perspective, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw this right side guy in a hook curl, and then we're just gonna be watching for the flats over there to the left and what you'll see is this is a really good way to defend a lot of stuff out of trips tight end another thing that you can do if you're worried about trips tight end is you can do that man line trick that i just showed you and then what you can also do here on the right side is just man up the tight end with that safety that'll just help prevent any one play touchdown type stuff and then you're just going to take the running back on your own and this is another kind of method that I think is super effective because you are sending five and you oftentimes will get a really, really, really good blitz. The cool part about this, a nice little coverage defense for trips uh, would be to crash your D-line down, blitz your user, and then you're going to take that blitzing guy and you're going to go ahead and throw him into, as you can see here, see I can put him in multiple coverages. I can put him into a cloud. I can put him into a outside third if I wanted to. I could do a lot of different things. What I like to do is just a simple cloud flat with a man up on the tight end. And then from there, all we have to do is kind of drop this vert hook. And this becomes one of the best defenses against trips probably in the game. It'll stop almost every route combo from trips effectively. And you're going to be able to just sit in the middle of the field with your user. Thank you for watching this little mini guide on Dime Normal. If you want to get my entire Dime Normal full flat defensive ebook that shows you how to shut down pretty much everything that you're going to face in Madden. Make sure that you join our school.com community platform. It's only $10 to become a member over there, and it'll get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden and for college football when it drops. Thanks for, or thanks for uh, watching the video, and to join that site, head down to the description and click the link down below.